14 goals in two games. First win on, on Saturday against Fulham. How do you assess the start we've made? It's like watching my team when we're back in League One in the Championship, <laughs> to be fair. It was, <laughs> there wasn't many dull moments or nil-nilers at the moment, was there? But uh, I, think, I think it was a fantastic start in the Leeds game, obviously, uh, the Liverpool game. Played very, very well, took the game to them. Uh, Marcello's not going to change his philosophy how we played from the Championship for the last couple of years and, and give Liverpool a real, real scare. I think the big result, though, was the weekend one, wasn't it? We're beating Fulham, a team that is not going to be in a round, as you'd like to think, but ultimately teams that you have to beat. And, and teams that, when you look at the next few games, was one on paper that you thought, we have to try and get a victory as soon as possible. So that's why on Saturday it was so important to win the game score the four goals, go 4-1 up, everybody thinks it's cruising, but then again, <laughs> two goals quickly change that matter, doesn't it? Yeah, it got very nervy. And you mentioned there as well, Simon, uh, you know, the fact that we've seen the team play underneath uh, Marcelo Bielsa, but are you a little bit surprised at how quickly they've managed to get up to the pace of the Premier League? I think regardless of what league um, they're going to be playing in, with the training sessions that they do, how he wants the team to be played, they will play that in any division, you know, mind whether going to the French League, the German Bundesliga, Leeds will play that way underneath him. I think it's still one or two of the players are still finding the feet of, of the training sessions, the new signings. Um, can they go and play like this all the way through the season? Time will tell. He might have to tweak the odd thing, I think, possibly just to not to give everybody heart attacks with the number of goals <laughs> that they're conceding and the, and the chances, but it's, it's certainly been very entertaining the first two games. And about scoring the goals, we've, we've seen different goal scorers, not relying on one person to actually get the goals, spreading across across the team so far. How important is that? Yeah, I think you can't be too reliant. Leeds are not going to be in a position where they can go and spend 50 million, 60 million on a, on a centre forward. It's been great for Patrick Banford that he's had a good start to the season. Not everybody knows his work rate is there for the last couple of years, but ultimately he's got goals, hasn't he, first couple of games. So it's great for his confidence. Um, because yeah, I think he's been a little bit underrated, had a little bit of stick. And I think it, Patrick would be first to acknowledge that he's missed a few chances over the last couple of years. But that's what strikers do, don't they? Um, so I'm glad that he's started well. But it is important that other people are, are, are chipping in with the goals. Then you're not reliant on too heavily on, on your number nine strikers and as Rodrigo when he gets up to speed and, uh, and Patrick as well. And it's also important as well not to concede too many goals, isn't it, Simon? As a manager, what is easier to cope with, sort of not scoring or conceding too many? <laughs> <laughs> well, as I mentioned previously, we, we did like a 4-3 and a, and a 6 4 -er and 5 fours and stuff like that. So I think you, you've got a duty to entertain. I think in an ideal world, we'd like to be winning 2 or 3 nil, keeping clean sheets. I think it is the hardest thing to do as a football coach and, a, and as a team is to score the goals because ultimately as well, you're in the Premier League playing against the, the best defenders in the world now. Van Dijk the other week with Gomez um, and they're going to be coming up against Man City's and, and the likes over the next few weeks. I think you can always work backwards and tweak a few things uh, tactically, moving a few people back into different positions will probably make you a little bit tighter. But it does. It is the hardest part of scoring goals. So I don't think they'll uh, they'll be too disappointed with the start they've had in that respect. Everybody grows up wanting to be a Brian Dean. Don't worry about that. But um, <laughs> but the, the 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 game on Sunday, Brian. You mentioned fitness. That could be a key kind of battle. What other key battles do you anticipate on the game? Because it's two different formations completely different formations yeah. going up against each other. I know Leeds like the the pressing game, but I, I feel as though that's going to be their Achilles heel during the sniff. They're not careful because, like I said, got, uh, you've, got some, you've got forwards in this division that are going to hurt you. Um, and, and Sheffield United now, have, you know, they've, they've brought in players. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens because they, they used to play in a 3-5-2. Um, which means that one of the one of the centre forwards drops in and makes a six, which means that they can overload that middle area. And if they get control of that area, it it can be um, it can be very hard to to press. You know, once you beat the press, you're in trouble. Um, and like I said, they you know Leeds have got a 
I just brought in a boy from um, from Germany, um, and that that back four is still settling down. So that's that's going to be a key area, I think, be, behind the fullbacks um, is going to be is going to be a key key space. Also, I feel that. If they do play with a, a three-five-two and they drop one of the players on the back of Calvin Phillips, that could cause a problem as well. Um, you know, so it's 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 going to be fascinating. I, look, I don't have all the answers, but I think it's going to be a fantastic game, and it's going to be, it, you know, it's who utilizes the space better moving forward. That's that's the team that's going to win. It's not going to be a defensive game. I don't think either manager knows how to sit back. Um, so I think it makes it for a fascinating Yorkshire derby. It certainly does. I know that Ben's got one last question for you, but uh, I don't think we've put you on the spot enough uh, so far, Brian. So in your opinion, what is the score prediction going to be on Sunday? <laughs> well, you see behind me, do you see that fence? <laughs> <laughs> Get off it. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just gonna jump on it now. <laughs> Look, in an ideal world, I'd like both teams to win. Um I think a draw would probably at this side suit Leeds more than it would Sheffield United. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, it's it's going to be tight. I'd say a draw, maybe a two-two draw. That'd be a great that'd be a great game for everybody. Is that fence hurting you, Brian? Get off the fence, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. On, on the Leeds United show today, we've been asking everybody. With obviously the big Yorkshire derby coming up on Sunday, who's everyone's favourite um, Yorkshire-born players who've represented Leeds United? Who is there apart from me? Well, I, w I would say myself, <laughs> but um, I'd, I'd be doing myself an injustice putting my name in yours. <laughs> no, I, I, I would thought Bats is... I mean, we went to school being Bats. We both went to Allerton Grange. Um, I think Bats is probably going to be very um, popular. <laughs> It's been a breathless season so far. Um, Ryan, you first. What have you made of it? I'm really impressed. To be honest with you, I didn't expect anything less in a way. It's Marcelo Bielsa. He wasn't going to come into the Premier League and sit back, park the bus, be scared of teams. He's come out and gone at the teams. I mean, I th I've said about it before to my friends, other fans. After the Liverpool game, it's the first time I think I've seen Leeds concede four goals and I've walked away with a smile on my face, you know. <laughs> it's so bizarre, really. But, um, no, really impressed so far. And, and and I think we'll continue it throughout the whole season. So, it's brilliant. Simon, from your point of view, we've scored seven goals in the first two games. Any standout goals for you? Uh, click goal, really good goal. I love that. The first part from the finish was absolutely blind. Really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it's just been good, really. It's been entertaining. We're like the new Newcastle. We're scoring lots of goals with the season, then, but it's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. 